Alright, dahil po Friday ngayon, welcome to Artsy Craft Seat. Makakasama po natin live dito sa studio para gumawa ng mga printmaking. Okay, ang ganda, di ba? Nasa tabi ko ngayon. Makakasama natin si Miss Felipa Langridge. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so uh, you've been here in the Philippines for the past three years, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so we're here now to teach our audience on how to make this uh, printmaking. So yeah. could you explain uh, first what is printmaking? Okay, so we're going to do the uh, lino cut here or rubber cut carving and I wanted to make something festive so the product at the end could be a greeting card. This okay. is a festive belen. Uh, it's like a belen, yeah. yeah. It's very popular in the, in the Philippines. Yeah. Okay. Um, and you can use either just a rubber mat mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or um, you can use wood if you want to get uh, So you have two options. You, you could use it on a rubber or a wood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. that's right. And. Um, First of all, the materials that you need are the roller. The roller. Some ink. Okay, what or color of ink? Any color? Any color. This is black and okay. it's a water-based ink, okay. but you can use oil-based. All right, what else? Sandpaper. Sandpaper. Um, carving tool. A carving tool. Yep. Um, and then just a, a cutting mat, some paper, a pencil. Okay, um, so what's the first process? So the first process is mm. um, you take your rubber mat and you sand it down okay. um, with this. Okay. And this one's pre-sanded. Okay. Okay. And then you take your carving tool and mm -hmm. you do a simple sketch of what you were gonna do. So I usually use with a silhouette. Okay. And do you usually uh, draw first on a separate paper and then just uh, copy it on the rubber? Transfer, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 that's right. Um, so I do like a little figure here. Okay. Are we doing the balloon? Uh, yeah, for okay. sure. Um, so just example. Okay. And then you've got your star up here. Okay. Like this. And then, then this will be the final product after you use the, what do you call this again? Sorry. The carving tool. The carving tool. Yeah. Okay. So after you use the carving tool, you're just going to carve out your l light areas. Okay. Like is this. this. Is that hard to use or no? No, it's not hard can to I, use. Can I, uh, yeah, you try. can have a go. I guess it would be much harder if you use it on the wood. Do yes. you use the uh, same material? Yeah, the, the wood's much more difficult. The rubber's a good place to start. Okay, I'll try my best, okay? Mind your fingers. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so mind your fingers as well. Okay, so I just need to carve this yeah. carefully. And mm -hmm. I'll just follow the lines. Yeah, that's right. Am I doing good? Yeah, you're doing really good. Okay. All right, so after that, what's the next process? So after that, you take your ink. Mm -hmm. Is it okay if we get a little messy? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> and you put the, some ink on to a palette, or okay. just I've just got a piece of plastic. All right. And then you're going to roll it out like this. Okay. okay. So any color of ink, and then you need the roller, and then just... Roll the paint Roll the over, paint uh, what do you call this, any, any, any material? Uh, yeah, this is just plexiglass. Okay, just a plastic glass. Yeah. Um, and you can even do d um, three different colors and graduate okay. it. All make right. it more interesting, like some of the paintings okay. at the back there. Of course, before doing that, you need to have your finished product on your rubber mat, right? Yeah, that's Or on right. the wood. So again, you have two options. You can use a wooden thing or a rubber mat. Yeah, yeah, that's right. right. And then next. So then you're gonna roll your ink out, and then, thank you. Okay. Um, this is just so we don't get too messy. Okay. The board, um, and then you're gonna roll the ink. Oh, okay, I get it. Onto your your image, your belen. Okay. All right. So para sa stamp, it's like a stamp. It's exactly like a stamp. It's a big stamp. It's a big stamp. Okay. But you can make little ones and even um, decorate wrapping paper. Okay. Or, um, so it's like printing manually, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. And it's so therapeutic and meditative. Is it? Yeah. Okay. All right, so, so far, for the past years that you've been doing this, uh, mm -hmm. what kind of um, other materials or artworks have you made? Like, how, how big is it? What, what, what was the biggest and what was the smallest artwork? So with the printing, I keep the print making quite um, small, these kind of um, size. Like here, okay. Um, but I also work in oil and acrylic paint, and then we make a As really, big as this? Yeah, or even bigger. Um, even I made bigger. some really huge abstract pieces. And, and how long would you spend time for that? Maybe something like that, about two weeks. Just two weeks? Yes. And just, you're doing it alone? 
uh, alone. Okay. If it's a family portrait, it takes longer because there's oh, so could, many. Oh, you could um, also do a family portrait. Yes. Like faces of people. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Impressive. Okay, so yeah. please do invite everyone if you have social media pages and if you have galleries on display right now, so people people could visit and talk to you. Okay, Go well, um, at the moment we have a arts and crafts event at um, 10A Alabama in Quezon City on the Saturday and Sunday, this Saturday and Sunday. Okay. Um, and my Facebook page is um, Tableau Arts or Instagram hashtag Philippa Langrish. Okay. Yeah. All right, thank you so much for your thank time you. and hopefully all our audience would be very much interested to visit your place and maybe buy some stuff from you. Maybe. Right, thank <laughs> you so much once again we have here live in the studio, uh, Miss Philippa Langrish. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Jim. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Right, we're still here in the studio with Miss Philippa Langrish, and at the moment we're about to place the paper. Yeah. Yep, on top of the stamp. Okay. I mean the rubber mat. Yeah. And then later on we'll be producing this final product. Okay, so go ahead. Okay, so that's right. So we're gonna place it on carefully. Yeah. Make sure that it's kind of central. Okay. And then your final um, utensil is that you need the wooden spoon. Do you need to tap it or...? <laughs> no, you just made okay. a circular motion like All right. this, yeah. Alright, we'll, we'll go back to the final product later. I'll just introduce sure. this next segment. Okay, so right now, naman, uh, Pilipinas, alamin naman natin itong Giga Laser dito lamang sa Dermasthetic. 